Yeah, uh, thoughts on the match? More like, uh, I just, I mean, I need to do a lot better on on my serve. I need to serve, need to serve much better and, and not just give away so many loose points on my serve. I feel like as far as, you know, returning goes, I can't actually ask for, for that for that much more. I was in, you know, I mean, forget about, forget about the first set, but the second and third, I was in a lot of return games, got breaks, both sets, chances to get more than one break. Like that's, you know, I can't, I can't ask for much more than that. If I could actually uh, serve, I think to the, the standards that I know I can serve to, then, you know, then maybe I could, I could work with something. It'd be a, it'd be a closer match, but uh Obviously, Novak being Novak, he'll make me feel like I'm serving, you know, worse than I am. But, you know, in other matches, I wouldn't get, I guess, as punished for, for missing so many first serves. You know, I can maybe get away with it. But uh, with him, I have to serve better than 50%. I have to, and I have to hit my spots better. Like, it's, it's, that's, just, that's just how it is. Okay. Thank you very much. Matt? Hey, Taylor, Matt Futterman from the New York Times. What's your process after, uh, you know, a big event like this in terms of sitting down with your team and sort of dissecting things? Do you go through the videos of your matches? Do you talk through all the results? And I mean, I know you, I know you play a lot, probably more than just about most people. Is, do you take the time to dissect things before you take the next step and get out there again? Uh, I mean, uh, just from, you know, it's only been 30 minutes, but... Well, I guess I'm talking about more, that, you know, for the next week or something like that. How do you... Well, the next week, I'm, I'm probably not going to play tennis for the next week, and then I hope ne when I come back in a week, I'll, I'll remember how to how to serve. But um, just digesting the match, like right now, I I know definitely have some things in mind that I that I need to to work on that are kind of uh clear to me that I need to improve a bit and you know once I get back on the court and have some time to you know not be in in tournaments and, and practice a bit I'll, I'll definitely start start working on them Steph. Stephen Bondi New York Daily News how, how much was the heat factor there today I mean it was definitely hot like I feel like uh we played some we played some like pretty physical like long points in the beginning of the match and like after a couple like it it uh, it hit me i'd say it's more the it's more the humidity than anything I, I i don't feel like i'm ever bothered too much by by the heat i feel like it's the it's just really humid just feels like it just drains you and uh didn't help that they partially close the roof with that because I think that made it a lot more it, less hot but a lot more humid inside the stadium but the end I, I don't think it was like awful for me I felt like I was getting better as the match was was going on so right Brian. Brian Lewis from New York Post uh, once you kind of settled in you had the second set and then there was a stage in the third set where it looked like you had your opportunity crowd was behind you I'm not asking you to necessarily get in his head but it, it seemed like he kind of got even more fired up the more the crowd got behind you what's the I was asking did it, when you're watching it did it seem like obviously you love the support that you were getting yeah. here in New York did it seem like he got more fired up the more the crowd got behind you uh, I, I didn't. I didn't think so. I didn't. I didn't notice. I, I feel like, uh, yeah, like you said, I had. I had the chances in the third. I, I played some, started playing some, some pretty good points, stringing some good points together, giving myself break point opportunities. I was. I was holding, and uh, yeah, I, I. I didn't take my chances. I didn't think that he played any of those points. I guess like exceptional, like raised his level. I. I. I, I didn't. Uh, you know, he was solid, and and I didn't perform well enough on, you know, a lot of the big points. Andrew. Andrew Jones, ESPN, Anscape. Though Mansick and Stricker are completely different opponents to him, you felt very confident about your serve and how you were feeling about that. 
Do you feel that it was just in terms of you dealing with the placement or just the rhythm? You just didn't feel the rhythm about that? And you talk about that Ash crowd support. You gave a wave to them at the very least. Can you talk about at least that positive support from them? Yeah. Um, uh, I only, you know, if I remember correctly, I feel like I, I wasn't too happy about my serve after the first couple of rounds. I feel like I, I said only in the second third set of the stricker matches when i started to feel like a good rhythm on the serve and that's yeah that the how i served uh i feel like in the third set of that match is is how i need to serve if i want to give myself a chance to to beat someone like novak and it, it wasn't there at all i saw i serve served awful and uh it it, it sucks like it, it's something that like everything feels good and it just serves not going in and uh something I have to just get back and, and work on because it's not something that I'm I'm used to. I've, my serve's always been, like, uh, pretty, like, automatic for me and confident in it. So something kind of kind of new this year that, that I've been struggling a bit with. It, I guess the good news is that I'm returning serve much better and, and, you know, I'm still having a overall good year even though I'm probably serving the worst I've served just because – the other parts of my game are, are much better. It, you know, it speaks to where I've improved elsewhere, but uh, definitely need to, I guess, get that back to how I felt like it used to be. And yeah, I mean, in the other matches, I can I can afford to not serve so well because I can I can serve a second serve and they can hit the return, and I can I still like my chances winning the point, and that's that's not something that you can you can do against Novak. I can't consistently expect to, to beat him in baseline rallies. Sure. Pat. Pat Boyle, CBS Sports Radio, WFAN. Um, great season for you, Taylor. Um, you know, I think the aura that, that Novak carries, and especially in the return game, do you think that you maybe put more pressure on yourself to have to serve so perfectly? Or do you think you just didn't have a particularly good serving day regardless? I think I might have done that in, in Cincinnati. And maybe in the first couple games when I came out, I was trying to like add some speed on the, on the flat serve, but definitely not in the, in the second and the third set at all. I, I wasn't trying to like, I mean, I was just missing so many serves. I kind of just told myself in the second and third, just like, you know, make the serve like, and, and yeah, it just, it, it wasn't working. Let's not, it, it wasn't there. I think, you know, if we look at my past matches with Novak, the, the one that i you know, probably had the best chance in was in uh, Turin, and I was I was serving well there. It's it's not uh, I don't know, it's not rocket science. Like I'm not gonna be able to to beat him or hang with him when he just gets to return second serves all day, or my first serves are just going to him. Like I need to serve well. I need to hit spots, and I've served well against him in the past. Cincinnati today is just not the case.